Hello everyone, my name is Atish and in this learning dialogue we'll see the homogeneous linear partial differential equations with constant coefficient. This topic is very important because in this topic we'll learn how to get the solution of homogeneous linear partial differential equations with the help of complementary function and particular integral. Now, to get the complementary function and to uh, for particular integral we have different methods so let us start with the introduction of this topic first followed by the complementary function okay rule for complementary function okay so we have a pd of the form this is the general form of pd a0 del n by del xn plus a1 del n by del xn minus 1 del y plus a2 del n z del xn minus 1 into del y square plus so on a n del n del n of z del y n is equal to f of x y okay now where what is this a0 these a0 a1 a2 and all these a n are constants okay it may be any number like 2 4 7 something like that so this equation is called nth order because the order is n so this is called nth order homogeneous linear PD with constant coefficients. Okay. Now suppose if I uh, this is the notation that we have here. So suppose I denote del del x by capital D and del del y by d dash. So this equation will imply a zero. If d stands for del del x, then d two stands for del two by del x square and dn will stands for del n by del x n this being an operator this cannot be equal to zero that's why i'm writing equivalent sign here okay so writing this equation in terms of d will get this now this equation can also be written in the generalized form as function of d d dash operating on z is equal to f of x y so this is nothing but the general form of the homogeneous linear partial differential equation with constant coefficients. Okay. Now, for this type of equations will be there for us to solve. And the solution of such type of equation is given by Z is equal to CF plus PI. You know what is the CF? The CF stands for complementary function. Complementary function and this pi stands for yes particular integral correct particular integral okay so everything depends on this uh, the problem and then depending on the problem sometimes you have to find out complementary function sometimes we have to find out particular integral so let us see when we have to find out only complementary function and where we have to find out only particular integral and when to both if this is my uh, problem and if the right hand side is equal to zero if the right hand side is equal to zero then my complete solution would be z is equal to just cf okay and if this if this right hand side is not equal to 0 then my complete solution would be z is equal to cf plus pr right now sometimes you'll be given a function like given an equation like this and you just need to find out what you just need to find out the particular integral in such cases the problem would be like find a particular integral of so find the particular integral of this equation so you just need to find out pr okay so uh, this complete solution one remark this complete solution is also known as this complete solution is also known as general solution okay so that is what our objective is now uh, let us see how uh, what is the uh, method to gain the complementary function okay so for the time being you just need to remember only few things like this is the general form of uh, partial differential equations and its complete solution will be given by z equal to cf plus pi cf when right hand side is zero cf plus pi both when right hand side is non-zero okay and if the portion is of 
like find the particular integral of this equation then you just need to find out the particular integral of dr okay now let us see now let us see the method of finding method of finding complementary function we denote it by cf okay cf of what cf of f of d d dash f of d dash operating on z is equal to 0 okay or you can write complementary function then complementary function of this is equal to f of x y or you can say in other words general solution or the complete solution of f of d d dash is equal to 0 okay so let us see now so the steps are uh, so to get the complementary function of this following are the steps so step number one so step number one says write down the given equation or write down write down the equation f of d d dash is equal to 0 okay for uh, for complementary function uh, this is of no use this function is of no use we just have to consider the only the function of d and d dash okay second step says step number two put put d is equal to m and d dash is equal to 1 in equation 1 in equation 1 we get what we get when you substitute here we will be getting f of m 1 is equal to 0 the moment you substitute d is equal to m and d dash equal to 1 you will be getting a polynomial uh, an equation may be a cubic equation or a quadratic equation depending on the problem and then you have to solve this equation number 2 to get the roots okay and this is called as auxiliary equation this is an auxiliary equation okay now we will solve this auxiliary equation solve the auxiliary equation solve the auxiliary equation 2 to get to get the roots of f of m1 to get the roots say the roots are say m1 m2 m3 mn for example then once you get the roots just write down the just write down the solution step number 4 put these values put these values in put these values in cf is equal to 5 1 y plus m1 x plus 5 2 y plus m2 x plus and so on 5 n of y plus mn x okay and there is nothing like whether there is nothing uh, depending on the roots of the uh, equation nothing like uh, it's like uh, if it is uh, if it is real roots then you have to write down some different uh, complementary function for complex you have to write different complement different uh, complementary function okay that is the case in ordinary differential equation okay here you have the single formula if your roots are suppose 1 and 2 so you can write cf is equal to 5 and 1 plus 
y plus m m1 is 1x plus y2 y plus m2 is 2x if your roots are plus minus i so your cf would be 5 1 cf would be 5 1 y plus ix plus phi 2 y minus ix okay or you can and uh, one more remark i would like to make uh, the order is not important you can write phi 1 of y minus ix phi 2 of y plus ix if the roots are plus minus i okay so this is nothing but uh, the way of writing the complementary function okay now the complementary functions that we have written this is called this is called complementary function for the given problem and this is the general solution for this if the right hand side is zero this is going to be the general solution okay so this is called general solution this is called general solution of what? General solution of equation 1. Or, or we can say complementary function of f of d, d dash operating on z is equal to f of x, y. Okay? Now, you may arrive at a question like uh, it may happen that the roots may get repeated. So, suppose the roots is get repeated r times suppose we have roots m m m okay if if the roots are repeated m times then your cf would be cf would be phi 1 y plus mx as it is repeated i am going to write it as m plus x into phi 2 y plus mx plus and so on x power r minus 1 phi and y plus mx this is the complementary function when when the roots are repeated for repeated roots repeating r times okay so i hope this is uh, an informative lecture and just go through it in the very next uh, video lecture we'll take example on this topic okay so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you